we're Saturday, December 29th. It's the 50th day of the race. I think we've done 15,000 miles, or not quite. Anyway, around 15,000 miles. And with Banque Populaire, we have trouble separating. We sail, you know, close by, so to speak. Let me show you the animal. Even with the camera, we see him well. He's 10th length away. Jenniker, Reef. Searching back into the Vendée Globes and probably an open sea racing history, yesterday's positions at this stage of the race had never been seen before. We're still with our comrade François. Right next to each other. We'll zoom in to see. There, he's two miles upwind. With François, we're sailing together on the route to the Cape Horn. It's hallucinating. If we brought that to another sport, the gaps would be as if Usain Bolt won the 100 meters by 3 ten thousandths of a second, by a fifth of an inch, not even, by a twelfth of an inch. And until passing the Cape Horn, there's no reason for it to change. Even more so since we know the two best enemies have decreed united front against the threat of icebergs in the region. At the back of the ranking, Dominique Vavre doesn't have the same preoccupations. A day like today, we could almost envy him considering his navigating conditions. We're very close to the Pacific Ocean anti-cyclone. A little too close for that matter. We clearly see we're in the anti-cyclone. Navigation is pleasant. We could almost pretend we're in the trade winds. This was from Mirabeau in the Pacific, which wears its name well today.